If you love enchiladas but are on a low carb diet, then this recipe today is for you. Stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we are committed to supporting you in your health, one healthy recipe at a time. Today we're going to be making a low carb enchilada soup. Begin by heating two to three tablespoons of either heart healthy olive or avocado oil in a large pot for just a few minutes. To your heated oil, add in one chopped up onion, three to five minced up garlic cloves, and this is such a great ingredient to add this time of year because it's such a good support for your immune system. One chopped up jalapeno, so if you like a spicier soup, definitely include that white pith that connects the seeds to the jalapeno, otherwise you want to remove it so that it's not so spicy one chopped up bell pepper. Sprinkle with about one half of a teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt. Saute your vegetables for about five to seven minutes or until they soften. If you prefer a blended soup like I do, place your softened vegetables into either a blender or food processor, along with one quarter of a cup of tomato paste or coconut cream for a tomato-free version, and about one cup of chicken broth. Blend up until you reach your desired consistency, adding in any more broth if needed. If you don't like blended soup, simply skip this step completely. Add your blended vegetables back into your pot, the remaining chicken broth, your spices, one tablespoon of chili powder, one tablespoon of cumin, one teaspoon of dried oregano, and one half teaspoon of paprika, along with the remaining pink Himalayan or sea salt. Give it a good stir. Last, add in one and a half to two pounds of either boneless, skinless chicken thighs or chicken breasts. Bring your soup back to a boil, and then boil for about 20 minutes or until your chicken is cooked. Remove the cooked chicken and shred it up using either forks, or your fingers, or simply using a knife. Add the chicken back into your pot, along with two cups of rice cauliflower. Cook for a few more minutes to heat the cauliflower up, and then serve with your desired toppings. We are ready to give this enchilada soup a taste. I highly recommend squeezing a little bit of fresh lime juice in there, also, some other toppings are some fresh avocado slices, some cilantro, you could add some more jalapeno if you'd like to, maybe a little spoonful of coconut cream or sour cream, and even your favorite gluten-free tortilla chips would be delicious. So, let's give it a taste. Wow, that soup is so good, it's so full of flavor. I love the cilantro, that always ups the flavor, as does fresh lime juice or lemon juice, and the avocado chicken, delicious. I hope you give this one a try. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, if you have any questions, or if you tried these recipes and want some feedback, definitely leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll see you next week in the kitchen. Bye-bye.